King Charles III, is said to have changed his plans for a shorter coronation, in favor of a more decadent celebration to promote the UK. Meghan Markle's biographer, Ahmed Scobie, has told King Charles III, criticized for being out of touch with his plans to hold a lavish coronation, after speaking in his Christmas speech about the great fear and distress felt by Britons, the worst cost of living crisis Britain has seen in decades. However, Scobie called Her Majesty a hypocrite for denouncing the state of affairs the Brits are currently facing while changing her plans from a smaller coronation service in favor of a full-fledged pomp and circumstance. Mr. Scobie said, It seemed quite hypocritical for the king to express his sympathy and concern at the difficulties facing the nation he serves when he was in Windsor just a week before recording his message Castle quietly and dramatically addressed plans for discounted coronation celebrations to you. Buckingham Palace had previously announced that the King's coronation next May would be scaled down compared to the service honoring Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. But Prime Minister Rishi Sunak vowed last week that the coronation will show the best of Britain and will be a unique moment for the country. Scobie estimated the cost of the coronation could require up to £100 million, double that cost for his mother's coronation over 70 years ago, it added. Despite the estimated increase in cost, Charles's ceremony will be shorter, lasting between one and two hours, as opposed to his mother's three-hour event, with rituals considered outdated or cumbersome to allow for performance time reduced. The 2023 coronation is also expected to have far fewer attendees, 2,000 compared to 8,000 at the last Queen's a four-day celebration of the late Queen's platinum anniversary in June. Charles will also host his first official birthday parade, Trooping the Color, in June 2023. Anti-monarchy group Republic leader Graham Smith told Yahoo News the decision to hold a large coronation ceremony was rude. Given the struggle many families are going through across the UK, Mr Smith said, workers are struggling to pay rent and mortgages and feed their children. Extravagant as of late, the coronation is not necessary, he is already king. It's all about promoting the monarchy and satisfying your ego. But the historian Lord Roberts of Belgravia noted that the coronation of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth II came at a time of great pressure for both the UK and the rest of Europe. The king's grandfather, who came to the throne after Edward V's coronation in 1937, abdicated and resigned under threats of Nazi rule over Europe while his mother took office, while war rations were still in force. Lord Roberts said, Both occasions to remind us of our values and the optimism that has gotten us through these terrible crises. The government is to be applauded for taking the bold decision, a much-needed one event to host celebration.